Hi. So sorry to hear about your troubles. Troubles? What troubles? Oh, maybe I have it wrong. Charlie, didn't you tell me he was divorced, broke, and living on your couch? I don't know what she's talking about. Well, I am going through a bit of a, a rough patch, but I try not to think about it too much. Oh, good for you. <laughs> I'd be suicidal. You hear that? You have options. Uh, Alberta, why don't you get the ball rolling? Sure. What the hell? <laughs> Zippy, I got to tell you, when you first moved in, I didn't really care for you. <laughs> you were a persnickety, self-righteous, smug son of a bitch. <laughs> and now, here we are, six years later. Thank you. You're here. Oh, okay. Anyone else? Alan, darling, you were always the good son. Of course, your brother didn't set the bar very high. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, Charlie, do you want to say anything? Uh, all right. <clears throat> Alan, you're my little brother. And I know over the years I've tormented you. I've embarrassed you in public. I've tied you to streetlights car bumpers, the occasional angry animal. <laughs> oh, remember that 4th of July when I used your ass as a launch pad for my bottle rockets? <laughs> anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is thanks for the memories. <laughs> I think now's the time to tell him. Tell me what? I'll show him. I will show him all. They won't have Alan Harper to kick around anymore. And they will be sorry. Apologies will be made. Tears will be wept. But it's all gonna be too late. Because I am out of here. Sleep in the big sleep, the old dirt nap. Adios, muchachos. It's the last roundup. <laughs> God, check please. <laughs> Perfect. 
Everything I've tried to do in my life has ended in complete, abject failure. Buddy, 